Okay, I think we're live. I don't know. I'm going to check on my phone because I have never done this before. And then I'll get my live going on Instagram live as well. But hello, if anyone is here. I don't think anyone is here yet. Okay, let me see. I'm going to check and make sure I went live actually. And you can actually see me. Okay, I'm looking at my phone and you can actually see me. So that is good. And I'm going to test that I... Okay, and it sounds good too. So we're good. Hello, anyone that is here. I don't think anyone's here yet. I'm going to get my stream going on Instagram as well. And then we'll get started. I'm so excited. I don't know how to do a live. There's two people here. Hello, whoever is watching. I'm glad to have you here. This is my first time going live on YouTube. So I'm going to try to get my Instagram live going as well. So yeah, I'm excited to pray with you guys today. And I'll tell you a little bit more once I get both streams set up. And I'm so sorry because this is hard to do two things at once. But I'm going to do it. Make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, awesome. I'm in the frame in that. So we're going to go live on Instagram too. Hello, Instagram. We are live on Instagram and YouTube. So you guys can watch on either platform. And I guess I'll tell you guys about what we're doing today. Um, you cannot hear me unless with the mic. Oh, Emily. Hello on Instagram. How are you doing? I'm excited to pray with you guys today. And sorry if this stream is all over the place because I literally have no clue what I'm doing, especially on YouTube. But we're going to move this camera a little bit upwards on here. One second. Sorry again if this is all over the place. I'm doing okay. How are you, Emily? And I don't know if anybody's commenting on YouTube because I cannot see it on StreamYard. So, okay, that's way better of an angle. And I just realized you guys could not hear me on YouTube. So this is a mess. But I hope you're doing well, Emily, over there on Instagram. And let me know if you're on here on YouTube. I don't know if there's a way for me to see YouTube comments. Like, I do not know. But, I'm excited to be here today on both platforms, Instagram and YouTube. And I'm here to pray today. And I'll tell you a little bit about why I decided to do this. And hopefully, the Lord will just work really good throughout this act of obedience because I was about this close not to do this. I was trying to decide if this is truly something that God wanted me to do and I was like okay just gonna go all in do it anyways. So I'll tell you the story I guess why I'm doing this in the first place. So I have this book right here this book is called Wake Up Generation, and there you can see it on Instagram, and you can see it on YouTube now, but this book right here is a book that really inspired me to start praying for this generation, intentionally taking time out of my day, intentionally taking time to pray for Gen Z. Also, um, my brother is starting school soon, and so is my nephew, so that really got me, like, I really want to start praying for them all the time during the school year and all of that, so today was the first day of school in my area, so I just want to pray for the kids, even though they're probably already done because they had a half day today, but we're just going to pray for schools. We're going to pray for whatever you feel led to put in the comments about, like, this generation, 
whether you want to put a prayer request or um, just something that's on your heart. It doesn't have to be Gen Z related. This world needs Jesus regardless of age. We all need the Lord. We all need him so, so much. And I will read a little bit of this prayer. This is called A Book of Prayers for Young Women. It also has the same writer, one of the same writers as this book, Wake Up Generation. Um, And it just really inspired me because this book is all about you have a life, how will you use it? We as Gen Z, and even if you're watching and you're not Gen Z, we all have a plan and a purpose. God has a plan and a purpose for our lives. And I feel like so many times we waste the time that we have on this earth. You know, time on this earth is not guaranteed. It's not, um, you know, there's a verse in this book that says our life is as a vapor it vanishes away, something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing here. But um, our life is as a vapor, and we don't have a promise of tomorrow, and our world is so, so wicked. Our world is full of wickedness. Our world is full of just all kinds of junk. And I just want to pray for our generation today and go before the Lord in prayer for this world, for all the craziness going on today. And yeah, I just want to be a light in this world and live out the calling on my life that God has called me to. I may not be as young as I once was. I feel kind of old now. I know it's not old at all being 24 years old, but being 24 years old, sometimes I feel really old and I'm like wow I'm so old I still feel like I'm 16 sometimes and um, I know that God put a call on my life for this generation and I've had words spoken over me about being an impact for this generation so I'm not gonna give up on that call on my life and I'm gonna be obedient to the Lord and do this 10-day prayer challenge we're going to try to pray every single day, Monday through Friday, while kids are in school. And on the weekends, I want you guys to pray by yourselves for this world and take some time out of your day by yourself to pray. But 10 days, uh, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, we'll pray by ourselves. And then next week, we'll come back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, do the same thing. But um, I just pray that I can keep committed to this. Um, yeah, I will try my best to stay on track and to come on every single day. And hopefully, as we go on, the streams on YouTube will get better. And yeah, um, I just want to read this from the book okay here we go i want to read this from the book of prayers for young women and i just want to read this little insert in this prayer and then we'll start praying put in the chat your prayer requests if you have any i still don't know if i can see your comments or not um from youtube if you're commenting i cannot see it right now and i don't know why but can somebody put hi in the chat to see if it's working? Because I see that two people were watching on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to try to put my glasses up. Okay. So, we're going to read. This is titled, Lord, Use Me to Change the World. And this verse is Proverbs, Proverbs 31, uh, verses 8 through 9. It says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all are destitute, defended of the right, and of the poor and needy. So I don't know what version this is of the Bible, but that's the verse of the day. 
So I'm going to read the little devotional portion. And this is by Paige, the same girl that wrote the book that inspired me to do this. It says, Lord, I have a burning desire to impact this world. Thank you that though I am small, you are not. And your presence is in me is great enough to do anything you have called me to do. I long to leave a legacy that teaches and touches generations to come to your kingdom. For my life is but a mist, James 4, 14. Yet through your power, the things I give myself to can have an internal impact. I am your vessel. Your, your word says that you have put your spirit on me. That I may bring justice to the nations. Isaiah 42 1. You have anointed me to preach the good news to the poor and to build up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, to release to those who have been imprisoned in darkness, and to give comfort for those who mourn. Isaiah 61 1 through 2. Father, I give my life to serve you Um, by your side. Show me specifically who to reach and help. And help me to step out in faith. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I thought that was fitting to read today. And there's somebody else on instagram and i'll waved at them um but i just really hope this inspires you because god has put a calling on all of our lives he has called us to um preach the gospel you know we may not be preachers and i as a woman i never claimed to be a preacher or a teacher or any of that but god has called me to speak for this generation and to encourage this generation to deepen their walks with the Lord and to just be who God has called each and every one of them to be. So that is a calling on my life and I just want to pray for this generation and we'll take some time to do that now. But I hope that verse encouraged you and that prayer encouraged you And this is so, I just want to say, I'm so nervous right now because this is live. I'm going to leave it up. I cannot edit anything out. It's kind of freaking me out, but God is the God of peace and not of anxiety. So you just need to calm down. This is the real me. Take it or leave it. God is calling me to do this. So I got to do this, even though being live freaks me out. So. Without further ado, let's just pray. Um, Put your prayer request in the chat. And you can even put unspoken prayer requests. Whatever God leads you to put, put in the chat. Um, And we can pray. So, just put it in the chat. I'm going to close my eyes. I'll look up every once in a while to see if anybody put anything in the comments below. If not... I'll just pray where the Lord leads me to pray, and I guess we'll just pray. So, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your blessings that you've stored upon us. I thank you for a new day. I thank you that I am alive today and that I can come before the throne and pray and just intercede on the, in intercede on the behalf of those who need you lord this generation needs you this world needs you lord jesus lord jesus i just thank you for the love and grace and mercy that you've given to us i thank you for what you've done for us on the cross lord jesus lord jesus i ask for your forgiveness if we've done anything that we should be doing Lord, bring it to our mind if we're living in sin. Convict our hearts and help us to repent of anything we may need to repent of, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to walk in 
the light of who you are, Lord, to walk in your footsteps and not follow the path of this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, Lord. Help us to renew our minds and help us to not live as this culture lives, not follow the ways of the world, not just go with the flows of this world, Lord, but help us to be just who you've called us to be. Help us to rise up as a generation that loves truth and rejects the things of this world. And Lord, I just pray right now that you would just help me to pray what I need to be praying for right now, Lord. Lord, I pray for all the kids that started school today, Lord. Lord, you know if they had a good day at school or not. Lord, I just pray that you would help them make good friends, that you would protect them, that their teachers would be teaching things that are good and things that are going to help them in their education and not nonsense and, you know, craziness about all this crazy stuff that I see these crazy TikTok teachers trying to put and instill in children that don't need to be instilled in children. I just pray that there would be more teachers that would be a light, even, you know, not actually preaching your word in school, but that there would be teachers that are Christian that would um, instill good values and good skills and actually teach kids how to, you know, just have an education and not about all this stuff that some teachers are trying to push on these children that don't need to be knowing these things. Um, Lord, I pray protection over our schools in America. I pray protection over schools overseas, Lord, as well. Lord, you know exactly what we need as a um, country, as America. You know what we need right now. Lord, I pray for those who are sick. I pray that you would heal their bodies. Lord, I pray for those who are dealing with issues of sadness and who are going through hard times, Lord. Lord, I pray for the kids that are in foster care. Lord, I pray for the kids who um, have a hard home life, Lord. Lord, I pray for kids that are in human trafficking, that they would be set free and that these people that are doing these things would, you know, repent from their wicked ways as well and that these kids would be safe and found and you know out of that lord i pray for any woman who is contemplating not choosing life for her baby i pray that she would choose life lord jesus i pray for people out here who are having this world bombard bombard their thoughts in you know of who they should be the world's telling them who they should be lord i pray that they would seek truth and that they would not give in to the temptations of this world they would flee from it and that they would walk in purity and holiness lord lord i pray for the young leaders in my generation the people who are trying to take a stand for the Lord in truth. Lord, I pray that they would not grow weary in doing good, that they would continue to be a light to this generation because our generation needs truth. Our generation has every evil at our fingertips, and it is so easy to give in to what this world is telling us, but help us to walk in truth and light. Help us to speak truth and light and um, to speak it in love and to also help others that have fallen get back up and walk in your ways lord help us to do better help us to love truth more than anything else help us to stop being um, lazy in our faith but help us to run our race with endurance and just to be who you've called us to be lord Lord, I just pray safety wherever we may go today. I just pray if there's any prayer requests coming in, I don't see any. But Lord, everybody that's been on the stream, even if they were just on the stream for a moment, Lord, 
You know exactly what they need in their life. You know exactly what they're going through, Lord. I just pray just for um, this world. And, Lord, I just pray that you would watch over us, keep us safe. Lord, I pray for the lost in this generation, that they would come to know you before it's too late, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for those just dealing with all kinds of hard circumstances, Lord. You know the needs. You know the situations. Lord, be with them. Lord, I just thank you for every blessing that you've stored upon me and those who may be watching this right now or later. But you are a good father, and I just thank you for this time to be able to come before you in prayer. And even though, you know, I really don't know what I'm doing with this stream, you are a faithful God, and you told me to do this for a reason. So I just pray for each and every young person that may be listening to this. You know their needs. And Lord Jesus, I just thank you for all that you are and all that you've done in my life and all that you're going to do in the lives of this generation. Lord, you know every wickedness that's going on in our world, and I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And I pray that people that are searching in all the wrong places for happiness would find the truth of who you are, Lord Jesus, before it's too late. And I just thank you for this time of prayer and that I'm able to access your presence Lord Jesus and that you are always there thank you for all that you are thank you for all that you've done thank you for the power of the cross and Lord I just pray that you would go with us wherever we may go today and be with this generation and help this generation rise up to be a generation of truth and I pray all that in the mighty name of Jesus amen amen okay so hello i think martha miller is on here and somebody else is on instagram hello janelle's on instagram as well um i'm about to get off here unless you guys have any other prayer requests but i thank you for joining this stream it was all over the place i know this is shaky um the stream on youtube right here because it's on my lap it's a laptop on my lap so it's kind of shaky so sorry about that i'll try to fix that before the next time we go live but you'll have to kind of deal with me not knowing what i'm doing for the next few days lord willing tomorrow i will be live streaming again on youtube and also on instagram I will leave these up so you guys can pray with me later if you guys miss it. Um, but I love you guys. God loves you guys. And stay rooted in him. Get in the word. And just be who he's called you to be. I guess I'm going to get off here. God bless you guys. Have an awesome blessed day. And I will see you next time, Lord willing. Bye, YouTube, and bye, Instagram. Bye, guys. Love you.